welcome to Let's Talk Bach. If you're unfamiliar with the easy Baccarat game or Panda Chase theory that I, strategy that I have posted many times, here's a little a quick um, look at it there. You can re rewind the video here, but it's crazy. I look back in 2021, some footage that I recorded, and I thought, why do I have this, uh, why do I have this video still in here? Let me take a look at it. So I watched a few minutes of it, miraculously skipped to the end here, and if you rewind it to watch it in slow, you'll see that that's a tie that I just dealt right after a player. So here's my next hand, very next hand, right after a player, and then a tie is dealt. Uh, you can see it goes six to three, and the player wins with an end result of six to one. That was the first hand of 10. Like I said, rewind the video to the beginning, and you'll see the Panda Chase strategy kind of laid out there for you. Bam, eight to zero, Panda wins no more than two hands after that trigger was met, and after we started betting Panda on 10 hands, or for 10 hands straight. This should be hand number three. And I think this goes to player two to one. So that'd be the third hand. And incredibly, like I said, I was just kind of smiling at this video. Like, why did I keep this? What, there's gotta be a reason I kept this and didn't just, didn't just delete it. And, oh, that's right, because two pandas hit. And this is a hand shuffled shoe um, done at home. You can see me do a thumbs up for the next panda that was hit. I do believe I run this out um, and don't hit another panda within those other um, remaining hands of the 10 but thank you guys so much for watching that easy panda chase theory that's how we would do it we would bet a certain amount scale it to your own bankroll follow me for more guys thanks for watching let's talk back.